Almost a minute and a half of injury time at the end of this game. No, that's it. Australia through then by the skin of their teeth. Winning by 19 points to 18. But my word, what a superb performance by the Irish here today. And as your car, I'm sure you are proud of your fellow countrymen. I'm very much so. It was an excellent performance. Few gave them any real chance of, of upsetting the Australians. And they almost did it. They were minutes away from it. It must be great disappointment for the players now. But they can feel proud of themselves and their country will be proud of them too. They put up a great fight. And it shows the character of the Australians as well. They come back at that moment with so little time left. An excellent performance, an excellent game. So Australia then, both sides in fact, getting huge applause from this crowd here. Australia will return in a week's time for their semi-final. The final score here then dramatically at Lansdowne Road. Australia 19, Ireland 18. It doesn't feel much harder than that. Mate, I'll tell you one thing, was, that was 80 minutes of rugby. Uh, Ireland just didn't give up. We knew that what sort of side they were, but um, every time they got an hour half, they put the pressure on, and eventually we had the crack, and we did, and we let them in for one try. I guess you're expecting that number of high balls. Yeah, I think it was, it was very uh, windy up there. In the first half, it was one and one way, and the second half, it seemed to change around. And every time we put a bomb up, it just seemed to hang. And it makes it very difficult, especially the ball's been so light. Our forwards, uh, Australian forwards, uh, didn't play as well as they might have. No, I think uh, it's a credit to Ireland. I think they put the pressure on and um, you know, they made our players probably not, uh, not play as well as they should have. I think it was, you know, we're down to uh, win or lose now and you know, we've just got to realise it's 80 minutes of rugby and we've got to dominate from the start. We can't afford to just sort of take these in the first half and then sort of build up in the second. Ireland hit the front, I think, with about four minutes to go. What were your thoughts then? Oh, oh no. I think it was mainly my fault because I should have dived in the ball and said let the, the Ireland winger pick it up and their support was good and I just tried to chase the the back row, but lucky uh, Rob Edgerton came across and just got him on the line, but you know, they deserved the try, they, they played very well and put a lot of pressure on us. You got a couple of tries, but uh, you bit tender on one of those ankles? Yeah, I hurt my, uh, my right ankle, so I might have to get a bone scan, I think uh, Greg Craig said, so I hope it's not what I think it is, it's um, what happened to me in 87, my operation on my left ankle, so hopefully it's not as bad as that. Well, a win's a win, uh, let the heart settle down. Thanks very much. So. To lose the World Cup quarter-final by that narrow margin must be heartbreaking. That's really stating the obvious. I think uh, in more ways than one, that, uh, the lads gave everything, everything that was asked of them. Uh, the game plan that we wanted to play, we more or less stuck to all conditions considering. The support was tremendous and uh, God, I'm proud of each and every one of them. You know, it just, it's, as you say, it's so disappointing. Uh, but the crowd are magnificent. They gave us every, every chance. And uh, I suppose if, if we're going to go out of the tournament, I would I'd rather go out like that than uh, any other way. And anyone who wondered whether you'd, you'd go the full 80 minutes were answered more than fully, weren't they? I think so. I think uh, there's been an awful lot of criticism of the side over the last couple of months, but today I think they, they answered that uh, in the only way that one should answer that, that sort of criticism. We more than lasted the 80 minutes. Um, uh, uh, tremendously disappointed again, but um, you know, at the end of the day it was a bounce of a ball. We, were, we felt we finished strongly, we started strongly. We, uh, they had their periods, but I thought we dominated the match for large periods, you know, so we certainly lasted. Unlike many matches, this was one that didn't have a turning point. No, I, I think the lads probably learned and are disappointed with themselves uh, at Murrayfield in that, uh, uh, from the turning point that we didn't play ourselves back into the game. Uh, and there were a couple of uh, occasions when they could have turned into turning points, particularly the, their couple of the tries, but the lads, all credit to them, they stuck in and got themselves back into the game maybe the way they didn't last, last Sunday.